Hey everyone, there's a code inside us. Bio-encoded, evolution-hardened, and computationally elusive. Protein folding is nature's most efficient algorithm. But for decades, it was biology's black box. Until AlphaFold flipped the script by turning protein prediction into a machine learning problem. Protein folding is a classic example of a high-dimensional optimization task. You're mapping from a primary sequence, a 1D chain of amino acids, to a 3D energy-minimized structure. The conformational space, astronomical. This problem was once declared intractable without brute force physics simulations. DeepMind framed it differently. What if we learn this mapping using deep ensembles, evoformer attention modules, and iterative refinement, replacing energy potentials with geometric reasoning and probability matrices? This is not just a different approach. It's a computational reimagination of biology's deepest mystery. Instead of manually simulating all potential conformations, AlphaFold builds an implicit model of folding physics using learned residue-residue relationships. AlphaFold 2 introduced a novel transformer-style architecture called the EvoFormer. It fuses information from multiple sequence alignments, MSA, with pairwise residue representations, capturing evolutionary couplings and geometric constraints. Its key innovation, recycling. Each prediction feeds back into the model for refinement, akin to multi-pass inference. It doesn't just output a static prediction, it polishes it in a self-consistent loop. Forget Rosetta. AlphaFold 2 achieved a median GDT-TS score of 92.4 on CASP-14. In over two-thirds of test cases, AlphaFold's predictions were indistinguishable from results obtained through X-ray crystallography. This wasn't incremental progress. It was a generational leap. The protein folding problem, once considered a holy grail, was effectively solved. Wes Roth explained how AlphaFold 2 works. The first thing to understand is that there are amino acids, which are the basic building blocks of life. Think of them like Lego blocks. With those Lego blocks, we can build proteins. So amino acids and proteins are both the building blocks of life, but they are also the machines that make life work. It's what allows us to see light, to move, to breathe, and to metabolize the things we eat. Each protein has an intricate shape that defines what it does and how it works. We know of over 200 million of proteins, and that number is going up as we discover more and more. But humans have been pretty bad at understanding the exact 3D shapes of all of these. So if we're looking at a Lego castle, we know which Lego pieces are used to build it, and we kind of know what the castle looks like. We just can't build an exact replica of it. Unravel a protein, and you'll see it's like a string of beads made up of 20 different types of amino acids. Interactions between these amino acids make the protein fold, as it finds its shape out of almost limitless possibilities. For decades, a community of scientists have been working on a way to figure out a protein shape just from its string of amino acids. This is a major challenge in our understanding of biology. Our ability to understand protein folding would allow us to understand the actual machinery that makes life function. The sequence of amino acids is folded into a unique and specific 3D structure, which determines the protein's function. It's important to understand that a string of amino acids can fold in many different ways. In fact, that's an understatement. To give you an idea, the number of atoms in the universe is 10 to the 82nd power. Yet the number of unique ways a protein can fold is 10 to the 143rd power. These are unimaginably large numbers. So basically, it would take an enormously long time to go through all the possible configurations. Yet proteins can fold in seconds or less. This, by the way, is called the Leventhal's paradox. So out of the 200 plus million of proteins that we are aware of, we were able to determine the exact 3D structure of about 170,000 of them. We did that using X-ray crystallography, which, by the way, was what Walter White from Breaking Bad was really good at. His breakthroughs in X-ray crystallography is what allowed that multi-billion dollar company Grey Matter to form. 
That's completely unrelated to anything here. I just thought I would throw that in. Anyway, AlphaFold is able to take our existing data set of proteins, whose structure we know, and then predict the 3D structure of other proteins that we do not know. This is an important thing to understand. Without AI, it takes us hundreds of thousands of dollars and years to map out these 3D structures. It's slow, it's expensive, and it's very limited. But with AI, we are able to have it predict new protein structures with ever-increasing accuracy. As it predicts more protein structures, our datasets grow and allow us to improve the AI's ability. Why is this important? How will we use this newfound understanding in the real world? Well, the ability to understand protein function would allow us to know the unknown functions of proteins in our DNA, as well as quickly designed new proteins that alter the functions of other proteins. This would be massive for pharmaceutical development, for our ability to understand and to change the genome. This would allow us to treat many diseases, create biomaterials that we can use in building as well as agriculture, Tissue and organ regeneration might be possible, as well as supplements for health and anti-aging. In the long term, it would allow us to create biological simulations and potentially lead to being able to engineer biological life, as well as many, many more things that we probably can't even think of right now. AlphaFold's predictions could enable progress in all sorts of areas. Imagine a future where we can understand diseases more quickly and develop drugs to fight them, or one where we could use enzymes to break down plastic waste, or even to capture carbon from the atmosphere, all with the help of proteins. There's a lot more work to be done, but unlocking the shapes of these building blocks could help scientists better understand the natural world, and perhaps expand our knowledge of life itself. Now, let's move on to AlphaFold 3, DeepMind extended the model's scope beyond proteins. It can now predict interactions between proteins and nucleic acids, small molecules, ions, and more. This opens the door to computationally guided drug discovery and systems-level biology. Unlike rigid body docking, AlphaFold 3 infers co-folding dynamics, capturing conformational changes on binding. It's not just a structural oracle, it simulates the conditional behavior of molecular systems. This is a paradigm shift toward modeling functional biology from first principles. Despite its power, AlphaFold has limitations. Its predictions are only as good as its training data, which was derived from the Protein Data Bank, PDB. That means proteins lacking homologs or stable crystalline forms are poorly represented. Intrinsic disorder, membrane dynamics, post-translational modifications, these remain challenging. AlphaFold tends to predict the most likely static conformation, not the full range of biologically relevant states. And while its code is open, the training weights are fixed. Fine-tuning for edge cases or niche applications isn't trivial. Let's look at applications. In Malawi, researchers targeting schistosomiasis used AlphaFold to resolve the structure of SMTSP2, a membrane-spanning antigen with therapeutic potential. This eliminated three years of wet lab guesswork. At Japan's Riken, AlphaFold helped elucidate dysferlin dynamics, paving the way for gene therapy strategies in muscular dystrophy. In Brazil, crop scientists used it to model rust resistance in soybean proteins, cutting development cycles by seasons. Meanwhile, pharmaceutical companies have used AlphaFold to triage binding candidates, filter docking simulations, and guide fragment-based drug design. AlphaFold isn't working alone. It's now part of an emerging ecosystem of generative and predictive biomodels. Imagine this stack. AlphaFold predicts protein structure. Progen or chroma generates candidate sequences. Reinforcement learning agents optimize multi-objective functions. Affinity, solubility, immunogenicity, and wet lab feedback loops close the circuit via robotic automation. This is not a metaphor. It's already happening. 
Alpha Design and OpenFold have joined the open source effort. Tools like FoldDoc, DiffDoc, and ESMFold are expanding capabilities in protein ligand docking and diffusion based prediction. This is the inflection point. Biology is becoming programmable. We're moving from descriptive to generative, from static modeling to dynamic simulation, from trial and error biochemistry to language model driven design. Synthetic enzymes, rational immunogens, designer therapeutics tailored to your proteome. AlphaFold was the key, but the lock? The entire biological system, and we're just beginning to open it. So the story of AlphaFold isn't just about predicting life. It's about rewriting the source code of biology. If you're building in generative bio, protein modeling, or multiomics AI, Subscribe, share, and contribute. The next chapter of evolution will be written in code.